Today I'll be going over um, the grammar section of the SAT and I'll be attacking the SAT uh, of the grammar section and it turns out that um, however I'm, many people I ask the grammar section seems to be very easy and the easiest one to improve upon however um, you, don't, you just don't know how much you have to practice so in this video I'll be going over a few tips and few techniques that I use to score high scores on my uh, grammar SAT writing and a past in my past videos I'll be making those videos and they're not quite as popular as I wish them to be so in this video I'll try to do something new add some little music to it and uh, yeah that's pretty much it and go with the tips as usual and let's hope the music makes any difference so let's go ahead and begin alright so the first one we have uh, let's go ahead and uh, turn on the annotations so we can uh, write comment uh, annotations we can write all right all right let's go and attack number one confident that she was fully fully prepared and from this uh, from this structure we can know that this is uh, going towards a modifier who is pre fully prepared Ellen is so Ellen decided to spend the night before the uh, recital reading and relaxing um, rather than practicing she decided this rather than this not more than to practice because that's not a uh, right analogy or I should say right uh, comparison of between two wins but not to be practicing no and one tip I I would probably give you here is that uh, you cannot add having in the middle of um, the answer choice so whenever you see something like having making something with ing in it having practiced or something like that along those lines in the middle of the sentence especially those turns out mostly wrong because SAT does not write, uh, like to add uh, ing type of words in the middle of the sentence so uh, here I'll just circle D and move on to my uh, second question Excuse me for my uh, throat. It the voice is a uh, bit cracky, but however, I still wanted to make a video, so let's go ahead and move on to number two without further ado. And uh, uh, Sir Ronald Rose, winner of 1902 Nobel Prize for uh, Psychology or Medicine. Okay, so the first thing I would do here is you have a positives. So a comma and comma, I would just recommend you to uh, put them in bracket because if you remove this part of the sentence, the sentence would still uh, need to make sense. Sir Ronald Rose and who identified. And here I'll like to give you a tip whenever there is a positive and uh, so just read the sentence Sir Ronald Rose and it's usually this part that's in the past so here I know uh, ing without so let's go ahead and answer uh, answer this with my technique so let's see if it works identified is in past okay so that comes here uh, identified is in past yeah up and yep so I can fully with my full assurance cancel D out and now I'm left with answer choice uh, four answer choices now if I don't know anything else I can pick one which gives me 20% of 25% uh, of probability to get one right however we don't want to do that because guessing is not something you want to do on the SAT so let's go ahead and attack this question how are we supposed to do this Sir Ronald Rose and who identified no you cannot just and and in after the noun okay it's because we remove the positives <clears throat> Sir Ronald Rose um, he ident he has identified which is wrong because why would you want to add a pronoun ap right after the noun has been added so this B cancels out now you have 50 50 percent chance yeah now and the choice is uh, answer to I can tell the answer choice C is wrong because it contains the same error as answer choice A why would you add and at the and the second word and this is exactly what I want you guys to do ask yourself why would you want to add this word because every single word on the SAT be very skeptic about it and it's added for a reason okay for example for example 1902 what does that represent why is the SAT test writer telling me 
1902 Nobel Prize because literally I just want to get done with this exam and go home and relax. I don't need to know this. Well, this word tells you that the past, the error uh, should be in the past tense. Now, in this sentence, the error is in, the word is in past, which is right. However, and who is wrong. So something, it does indicate you why the error is there. And I'm very pragmatic about how things, uh, how to attack things when it comes to SAT. So traveling through your, your smart T, okay, sorry if I um, mispronounce this word. Uh, who is traveling? The scenery, is the scenery traveling? And this becomes a modifier, a uh, dangling modifier, whatever you want to call it. So the waterfall, no. Be photographed, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, why would you want to add what in the middle of a sentence? So we go ahead and look at uh, answer choice C and D. Okay, uh, traveling to the, we photograph the beautiful scenery of waterfalls and grand peaks. Okay, sounds good. And I can see the error in um, answer choice D, being, being, uh, mostly is incorrect and if you have been learning SAT for a long time you know that uh, if you were stuck between these two uh, you probably want to go with the answer choice that does not contain being so that's exactly what I'm gonna do and answer choice C uh, and move on the poet Ferd was he they have some weird names uh, composed the Iranian national epic Shah Nameh in 1010 well, what does that indicate? Ask yourself, what does 1010 10 indicate? A past tense, right? Yep, that's it. So let's go ahead and understand. So which one is in past tense? So I can cancel this out. I can cancel this out. I mean, nope, I can't cancel that one out. So let me go ahead and erase that. I was getting too excited for that one. Okay, now being, whoops, it tells me that A is wrong as well. And here you can add gerund to it to recount and mostly whenever you see your gerund it's uh, it has more chances of being right when uh, they're used in the right context and when we see an answer choice the thus recounted there is no need to add thus here because it's just too redundant we don't because it's not necessary and he recounted well if you want to use e okay even though we put it right here there needs to be a comma next to it. Comma, he recount, but if there is no comma here, so I can tell that answer choice C is the right answer, and I should move on without wasting my time. As a choreographer, who is the choreographer? Ask yourself that question, because you might want to know where the error is. And here, since this is not underlined, and it shouldn't because this is right. Uh, Jamie Jam Jam Jamson has enriched the world of dance, comma. She uses her work's inspiration. Okay, so there's quite a few things wrong with this sentence here, and I would say that uh, this after comma part does not make sense to me. However, this part it does make sense to me. So I'm I'm going to correct my sentence, uh, which is nice and appropriate uh, when it sounds when I read it, especially in the second part, not in the first part. So I don't want to make changes in the first part. So let's go ahead and move on. I'm just going to cancel a move on to answer choice B. Uh, Jamie Jameson has enriched the world of dance Yep, with works inspired by African American culture. Well this is very simple and appropriate so I'm going to circle B and uh, if I wanted to I can read C, D or E but however I don't need to because I know for sure that this has to be correct. And if I'm wrong I'll let you guys know when, my, uh, when I self correct myself. Leslie Marmon uh, Silco has said that her writing, which has, was powerfully influenced by storytellers in her family, but, um, wow. So that tells me that A isn't it. Because you can't just keep using commas, commas, because we need comma here for but. And there is no comma. And tell me that. Same with this. And her, I said that family store. Of, oh, let's summarize this. Um, yeah, I think should see because summarize it's very uh, concise, 
as far as what to try to say. And there's uh, there's two more things I wanted to tell you in uh, in the tips is that uh, whenever you see a very long sentence, especially on this era, uh, this this part of the section of the writing section, uh, and if you can't understand anything, which one is correct? Go with the one that um, it's very yeah, uh, it's very concise, uses uh, small words, however gets the point across whatever the long sentence is trying to say and that usually is the answer. The second part I want to tell you is that uh, uh, whenever you select an answer choice uh, uh, what I did on my SAT was I read the sentence with using the answer choice because sometimes I get um, I get too deep into um, the answer choice itself that I circled down and I, which I think is right however when I read the sentence I don't think it's right and therefore I have to circle another answer choice which turns out to be right which I didn't notice the first time so I would give you two tips on those kind of things and I would start keeping my out after number seven because no, before number seven the questions are usually very easy so if you can't get those right I would suggest you practice on the basic grammar rules because that's the only reason why you can't get there right and that's what's stopping you from your 800 so let's go ahead and look at number seven uh, number seven finding the Baltimore waterfront fascinating who who found it who found this fascinating okay not all that so A is wrong finding the Baltimore fascinating Antonio found that okay sounds good and what I want to say here, one more tip, is that you don't want to make more. Uh, you don't want to make uh, more changes to this sentence. Okay? Yeah. Whatever the reason is, even though it's incorrect, you want to make less changes, uh, and that's the reason why you will have the accurate answer. And some other choices could jumble the words around here and there. However, they do sound good. However, they're wrong. So you want to make less changes on the original sentence so I will look at answer choice B later and C is ex uh, D and E and B uses the exact same format and using that tip I can say answer choice e C is the answer now let's go ahead and move on to I'm pretty confident on this uh, answer choice I select so that's the reason why I do not go over them so let's go ahead and uh, attack number eight here. Uh, in a hundred yard relay, our team impressed the crowd with each of the members shaving several seconds off her own best time. Huh. Now here, the sentence sounds good to me. Now there's no reason why A cannot be the answer. Okay. Who shaved does not sound that good to me. Who have who had been shaving you're using past tense here and then present tense here it does not make sense to me and I did look over this question uh, while I was reading the sentence that's why I circled A and if you see uh, sometimes a question that does sound good maybe the answer choice is A why would you want to correct the answer choice which is A so let's go ahead and move on to number 9 why would you want to get it wrong which is given to be right because of their ability to eat insects to eat large numbers of fish. Okay, so it's saying because some people, it's some people's ability to eat large number of insects, which is wrong because people don't do that. At least, maybe you could have some exceptions. <laughs> they have the ability to eat large number of insects. So, some people, I don't think it's used in the right way because bats can eat okay this sounds a bit good because bats can eat large number of insects bat houses are being built okay being oh it's a rare some people are building bat houses in their backyard because okay sounds good bat can eat large number of insects because well why do you need a comma here okay sounds good so answer choice D is the answer and I'll be right back so let's go ahead and look at number um, 10 and before I move on I would like to say that uh, the tip I gave you that um, the sentence should not be changed as much 
that still holds true I'm not going to backfire my own argument however I want to make sure that sometimes it might not be the case so there's always a possibility I'm not going to give you some percentages some kind of probability on what to pick if you're confused if you're baffling with some answer choices so this might this is hundred hundred percent what I said is true you don't want to make any major changes again I'm saying major changes not minor minor is possible and it could be a right one because we just did minor change here um, but major changes as far as they're concerned I would not try to make those and let's go ahead and uh, move to number 10 in this uh, in this I'll be just doing till 11 and then on the other video I'll doing I'll be doing the air IDs uh, so uh, okay let's go ahead and move on to number 10 for all their talks about ecology major companies okay who's talking major companies so that sounds good so for all their talks there there is a plural plural and companies is plural as well so I can say there is um, correctly used so there is no pronoun uh, noun agreement and uh, looking at answer choice B what would you want to add in spite of having there having I said in the beginning you don't want in addition to there is although no besides uh, answer choice A would be the right one to pick um, let's move on to 11 the survival of many species uh, again another tip if you want to you want to um, in cut the prepositional phrases off because sometimes if you do that uh, you have more understanding of what the sentence is trying to say and how the sentence is correlated with the error that error well, that is given by the SAT writer so it comes here the survival of many species of marine life uh, and here may depend on both uh, blah, and both and and the education both uh, on both the 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 and the 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 so there is no and here there and the public being educated now because the starting is correct however being just makes it wrong and the error in this is conjunction I want to make it sure conjunct properly so for example here in the sentence is given both so you have some argument here the starting word is the so for here if this is underlined what I would do is understand if it's both there should be and here and the starting phrase should be here to make the uh, uh, com it should be parallel the whole sentence so both the blah 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 and the blah 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 and then period if you want to end the sentence right there and you can have anything you want here so I'm just going to represent with X X word so here the answer choice is E and that's it for this video I'm going to just follow up on my other video if you want to know more about this um, and this again is uh, Jan 2007 SAT um, and the uh, code is D E B M I have no idea why I'm telling you this but that's what it says on my PDF here so hopefully that's helpful to you so let's go ahead and move on to the next video